Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. It's been a while, as you can see I have a lot of beard growth. I'm actually probably going to leave it for the most part. Um, just because I haven't had the time to shave, so I might as well be growing my beard out, I think. So, I'm going to do a little trim up, talk about what's going on with Craving Shaving, and uh, and we'll call it um, call it there. So, all right. Now I am trying out a few new things with this shave. First of all, a while back I did a trade with Heather at Zingari Man, and I got this shaving soap, oh, which is easily in my top three shave soaps. Um, easily, easily in there. If not my favorite soap as of currently, the scent is just amazing. This is Zingari Man. Um, the Prophet, Myrrh, Orange and Vanilla, and oh my goodness, it is an amazing scent and it leaves your skin feeling amazing as well. However, she also included this little sample of Gypsy, which is what? I have the lotion right here. Citrus, Cucumber, and Pineapple. Um, same scent as the, uh, as the lotion I have there, but obviously it's the shave soap. So, I'm going to use that today. Uh, I've been <laughs> waiting for a long time to use it, but I just haven't been shaving as much as I usually do. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the Fine Marvel Razor, which is awesome. I don't think I've ever shown this, but on the bottom, let's see if, wonder if that will show up. Can't really tell. Um, nice little F, F for the Fine logo. Uh, but this is a fantastic razor. It's both mild and really efficient which is a I mean a great combination so I really really like that and then another thing that I've been really looking forward to using is this <laughs> the moth in my bathroom um this is a vintage Gillette blade um see if it has any here's the back if that means anything to anyone but they have a huge box of these at one of the, um, at one of the antique shops here in the town that I live in. So I asked them if they'd just sell me, they have like a huge box of them, but I asked them if they'd sell me just like one little four pack. And they did. And so I'm going to give it a shot and see how they go. Now, these are a little strange in that they, let me... So it comes in this little inside sleeve as well. When you open it up, it's got some of the wax on it. Let me get this guy out carefully. And I will show you. But check this out. It is kind of this copper color, which I've never seen this blade before. So I was kind of intrigued when I uh, found it at the antique store and then even more intrigued when I opened it up and it was copper so we're gonna throw that in here now I know I've heard that there are some vintage blades that are just really not up to snuff with the modern stuff but I've also heard that part of the reason is because when they started making you know disposable cartridge razors um, they started making their blades duller. I don't know if there's anything to substantiate that, but I have heard that from other people. Um, so we'll just give it a go. We'll see. And I, I really do like how you have that little glint of copper in there. I think that's really cool. Um, I really like that with the Treat Black Beauty blades, but I didn't like the blades themselves. They were really dull. So We'll see how these go. If they go well, maybe I will go and pick up some more. We'll see. Okay. Now, the brush that I'm using is one that I, I made for myself to try out uh, a new knot that I'm carrying now. It's called the Supervisor Knot. Here's the brush. Unnamed as of yet. I, I try to name brushes, but sometimes I, I don't get around to it. So, I, I got that clear band in there, which is kind of cool. I might try some more like that. In the future. Um, now this knot, the supervisor knot, I call it the supervisor knot because it looks like a boss knot, but it just, it is not a boss knot. It's nothing like a boss knot except for that it, it looks like a boss knot. It is just packed with backbone. 
it uh, whereas the boss knot's quite floppy. So that is what I'll be using today. Also showcasing in this is a new coin. So I got a new coin that is in color. So threw one of those in there. First brush to have one. So thought might as well grab one for myself. So I've got the soap here in my uh, shave bowl from shavebowl.com. Not a sponsor. Um, we'll go ahead and lather this up. Now, um, my experience with this knot is if you're a bowl latherer, it's fantastic. So it's got a ton of backbone and it just kills it when it comes to building a lather in a bowl. I love it. Um, if you like a kind of, not it's not scritchy, it's still fairly soft. It's not, it's not definitely not going to be the softest synthetic out there. The Duro knot that, that uh, they sell at uh, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, I also put those in my brushes. And uh, they are softer. And also have great backbone. But this one has more backbone. And uh, if that's what you're into, this is a great knot. So it's not a boss knot. Boss knots, you have to set them deeper because it's really floppy. This one, honestly, I set it as high as I can because it's got so much backbone, I don't want to add more backbone to it. This stuff just lathers up beautifully. And the scent on this, <laughs> when I asked Heather, when I was trying to figure out, you know, what kind of soap I wanted to buy, um, this was second on my list. And it smells, I asked her what it smelled like. And she said it smells like sweet tarts, and that's spot on. It smells exactly like sweet tarts. A little dry still, maybe. I'm sure it would work, but I'm going to add a little more water. I probably didn't need to put nearly this amount of soap because of how little of my face I'm shaving. I'm going to really attack it with the water and get it going. Sometime during the shave, I'll show you a uh, another brush that I made, just kind of for fun for myself. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. All right, great painter. It does splay here. I'm gonna show you. And once it splays, it's pretty good. But it does take a little bit to get it to splay. I was just showing you, showing you that. And once it splays, it's really not too bad. It's, it's getting it to splay that's kind of the issue. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Marvel Razor with the Gillette Thin Vintage Blade. Okay. It's doing pretty good. It's not nearly as tuggy as I thought it was going to be. This razor is also just absolutely fantastic. I mean just really really nice. Great residual slickness. This is not on the sharper end of blades. I will say that. Um, it is on the duller end I would say but it's not like super tuggy so that's nice really nice fruity tart scent on this which is nice I like the fruity uh, anything really gourmand I like I do not like this one quite as much as the Prophet. That's just, oh, that Prophet one, it's so good. If you like orange and spicy kind of, I wouldn't say it's exclusively Christmassy. But it definitely kind of falls into that area. I know this isn't nearly as entertaining watching me just shave my neck, but I 
we're going to go for it. I don't even think I'm going to do my cheeks. Just because my beard hasn't grown in there enough, I will probably end my next shave. But that'll do. And it's nice to get that finally cleaned up. And this soap. Oh my goodness. It leaves your skin. In fact, I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm just going to rub some on. Because I think this stuff leaves your skin feeling so good. That. <laughs> While this is sitting on my face, I think this will honestly help my beard. I'm not going to lie. This stuff is very, very moisturizing. You can tell this is a soap. I, I might have said this in my last video with Singari Man. But you can just tell that it's a soap made by a skincare company. Because it makes your skin feel so good. Okay, now this is the other brush that I made. Now, just for fun, we'll compare it to this, to this brush. Now this is a great brush by Sterling Soap Company. Okay, I love this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes when I started into this hobby. This is the brush that I've made. <laughs> so, this was uh, my Razor Rock F400 brush, which is a great brush. Um, I really, really liked it, but I noticed I wasn't grabbing for it very often um, because it just kind of had a plain red handle, which is fine. Um, but I'm a, I'm a brush maker, you know, and uh, so I thought I'm gonna take that knot out and throw it in a custom brush. And so I've thrown it in there and I love it. Um, I think this is great. Um, also with the colored version of the coin in the bottom. So I had a lot of fun with this. I will definitely use this in a shave coming up, um, but not today. So, all right, um, let me, I'm gonna turn the camera off and rinse this off my face and we'll, we will do some post shave, some actual post shave. All right, and we are back. Let me, uh, let's see, I guess I didn't really think this through. We're gonna go with this for aftershave. Whoops. This is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Organism 46B Star Jelly Aftershave. And this stuff is awesome. I really, next to what, throw some of this on. Get some up here just for fun. That's really nice. Oh, guys, after having your neck hair grow in, it's really nice to get rid of it. Okay, well, we'll see how long I keep growing my beard out. I, I think I'm gonna do it for a little while. Um, yeah, we're gonna give this another chance to prove itself. This blade, um, I'm gonna take it out, dry it off, make sure because I don't know what kind of you know, if it's made out of carbon steel or stainless steel or whatnot. So we're going to try to take good care of that. Um, and yeah, uh, let me know what you think of these brushes. Um, I will say, I didn't say this earlier, these white uh, and, and uh, red coins, they are not going to go in all of my brushes. Um, I have some brushes that I, I work a lot harder on and take a lot more work and materials and so because of that they cost more than my just kind of normal you know plain you know swirl color brushes and so those coins are going to be for those you know uh higher end brushes that's kind of what i'm doing right now with my uh with my brush company i'm selling some for just kind of what i've been selling them for uh for a while um and then because i, I really want to have affordable options for people. I'm a school teacher and I know I can't go out and you know buy these nice artisan brushes and so that's kind of my main goal of starting this is I wanted to have at least some options for people who are on a, a budget and, and uh, would like a nice artisan brush so um, I will have those options available um, but I will have some more premium options as well um, including you know striped brushes like this um, and this um, and those are the kinds of things that will will get the, that new kind of coin. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions. Oh, also, um, now 
I haven't, I'm not 100% on this, but let me know what you think. Um, up to this point, I haven't done any custom brushes because it really stresses me out. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I am a school teacher and I am going to have some time during the summer. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm toying around with the, the idea of doing some custom brushes. Let me know what you think of that, um, if you'd be interested in a custom brush, um, just so I can get a feel for, you know, if, if people would want that. Um, and, and then I can know how to move forward from there. So, all right, well, thank you for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. If you made it this far, thank you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and hit the bell for notifications, especially since I'm, um, uh, I'm not doing them as often. It'd be nice to, you know, get a notification so you know when a, a new video is posted. One that I'm going to try to make fairly soon, hopefully next week, is how to glue a knot into your brush. That way I can have a reference for when people buy only the handle from me. They can know how to, how to glue their knot in appropriately. So, um, thank you again and hope you guys have a wonderful day.